If I was a if I was a trick or treating kid, I may do it anyway this year. I would dress up like Cardi B and walk up to home homes and have on my phone her going coronavirus. Oh, I thought you were gonna hold up WAP. I would do that too. <laughs> I'd be dressed like her in WAP. You don't. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiot. I'm Corbin. Macaroni in a pot. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Then go to some hey, Twitter account, ring the bell, follow us on the Kate Squad. That's what I have. Follow us on our personal YouTube channel. Links right down there. Today we are reacting to a trailer, Rick. You have macaroni in a pot for my candy jar. That's dumb. Today we are reacting to the trailer for Wap and Onion. Uh, Aprachit. Uh, Vikram. Vikram. And, uh, and Shankar. This was the film that the guy in the basement had the big personality change. The guy in the basement. Remember? The... the Oh, yeah, that we love so much. Yeah, that yeah. He, he, he like turned. Right. And Dr. That, Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Basically. That was, was a great scene. If you haven't seen that, the re that reaction's up. Um, but this is, a, I believe, the trailer for it. I don't think it's an official one. I think it's a fan-made Okay. One. But the plot of the film... Centers on a disillusioned everyman whose frustration at what he sees as increasing social apathy and public negligence leads to a split personality that attempts to right the system. Oh, cool. The film also has a Hindi dubbed version as Aparachit, which became very popular after its TV premiere. That's a very cool, like, uh, vigilante justice kind of idea. It's so... It's so strange how they, how in India they, they do stuff. And they do it in a different language. Right. I understand to reach more audiences, but I just wish you didn't have to do it. Just I like I wish Americans would watch things with subtitles. It's true, but one of the things I've talked with Indrani about this a lot, the, the, um, the challenge you have if you want to travel around India, while there are a huge number of people who speak Hindi, mm -hmm. there's a huge number of people who don't. And yep. we we don't get that anywhere you go in America. Everybody's speaking English, yeah, or uh, or Spanish, or Spanish. Like, but one. but I mean, if it doesn't really matter where we go, we're not thinking when we go to a region in the United States. Man, we're going to have a an, a language barrier. Which actually will show you, like, if if an American went somewhere in America and they only spoke Spanish, yeah, some people would be incredibly racist about it. Yes, they would. Which is. Our country's racist. It's just how we are. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's our roots. Some people have good roots. We have racism. Anyways. <laughs> I have, this is not about that, guys. Wait, what? <laughs> I have certain feelings. Uh, but yes, so this is a trailer for that one. Here we go. Okay. Oh! 
Thank you, Naveen, for subbing. Uh, Dang. That was weird. Yeah. Uh, but you know why? Yeah. Do you know why? South India. No. No? It's the same... Well, it is. Same director as I. Well, yeah. But it looked like... It looked like you put Sanjay Leela Bansali it's, and, and the director of I. Well, that, that, that is. That's what he is. And, and some of Bruce Lee's old films and threw them in a blender and, and then just poured it out on the table and rolled around in it. Yeah, it did have a lot of, um, which we haven't seen a lot of, the um, martial arts style of... It had, um, but, but definitively Japanese, yeah. old school, 1970s, like it intentionally was replicating it. Yeah. Yeah. It was what? definitely cool. Hodgepodge. That director is so interesting. <laughs> One, he makes stuff incredibly beautiful. Uh, yeah. Kind of, kind of similar, very different, but similar to Sanjay Lee Bansali in terms of he makes stuff prettier than real life. Right. And that's right. The, that's the world he lives in. But then right. he also, he just hot, like it, everything from his film, it I should, looks I should, like they, they won't be in the same film. And it also, I should have added that once it's on the table before you roll around in it, there's a <laughs> nice helping of Raman Raghav 2.0 sprinkled around the top. <laughs> right? It looked like we had some psychopathic killing going on. Well, yeah, because it's that, that same, the split personality fight yeah. scene that we saw, which was a great scene. Uh, wow. That was a phenomenal, Just, well acted scene as well from that guy. Um, I couldn't have taken my eyes off that if I wanted to. Came out in 2005, I believe. I was glued to that. It was just original and weird and wonderful. S. Shankar uh, is the director. 181 minutes, so what, three hours? Yeah! Three hours of that? Give it to me. Shank. Don't ever say that again. Uh, <gasps> Vikram from I, the same actor from I. So that's the, mm -hmm. the, the lead that's in, in all the I songs that we saw. Um, it was very interesting, for sure. Uh, and <clears throat> seeing that scene that we saw it was great. If, if this was, uh, let me see if this was family or if it was, um, where are we at? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, for fan -made. fan made trailer, that was pretty that was dang good. Really good. Yeah, because it fits. Fan made trailer style fits that. Yeah, right. Being all over the place. Just being chopped up and thrown together. I know we don't know if it's all over the place. That's just what it, it feels like uh, in terms of what we mean by all over the place. There's a bunch of different genres. <laughs> so many genres, which is actually quite common in Indian cinema. Oh yeah, that we've learned. Yeah, is that they don't stick to one genre like we they do here. Get in, away with anything in Hollywood. We, yeah. Like, Ega was a romantic comedy, and then it turned into a uh, Tom and Jerry epic fly movie. So good. Uh, <laughs> that movie. That movie was insane. And remember, it hooked us at the trailer. It did. It did. The and, trailer got us. And then I think we saw a fight scene from it. Um, so, yeah, this director is impressive. So, should we see this or see I first to, be, uh, to begin the journey of this director? Do we know? I don't know. Um, and the, the actor Vikram, I know he's a huge actor. Yeah. Uh, what's he, what's, he, is he like Rajnikanth? Is he known for his style? Is he actually known for his acting? Because I believe Rajnikanth I, is not known for his acting. Or he's his dance. Not, right. He's known, he's known for just, I think he's like Mahanil in that he's, this is acting. Like when we were given that scene, mm -hmm. I think, if oh, I yeah, that scene was incredible. Yeah, if I recall, I think it was, you need to see the acting chops of this guy. So I think it is more than just the style mm -hmm. and the person. Yeah. It's, it's the actual acting chops with a person so but that yeah would, that I, was I would watch really this. interesting yeah so you let us know uh which one we should start with or if it's a completely different one uh let us know down <laughs> that was my split personality <laughs>